friends, welcome back to my channel. Today it is time for me to do my first update for my 2020 project Use It Up. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the items that I finished off, items that I still have hanging out, and then new items that I'm bringing in to keep this project going. First item that I managed to finish off is from The Body Shop. This is their Pink Grapefruit Body Scrub. Um, I definitely think that this had maybe expired. Um, it smelled okay when um, it was sitting here in the tub, like it gave me that lovely pink grapefruit scent, but I definitely feel like as I was scrubbing it, my skin felt a little bit funny. I didn't break out or have any kind of like weird redness. It just kind of felt itchy, which I don't remember it ever doing before, but once I put lotion on, it was fine. This only lasted me, I think two, showers and then it was gone so it wasn't like i was long term like making my skin feel itchy but it definitely confirmed for me the need that i had to finish this off so i'm very pleased that i did and i don't officially have any more that are in this type of packaging from the body shop a second item that i'm sure was no surprise that i worked through is the peter thomas roth cucumber gel mask um, this is a little bit deceptive when you look at it it definitely looks like there is still some product inside but i can't get it out and i'm not going to cut into it because i don't even think i have enough for half of my face so it's not worth it this is a nice mask i think this mask is awesome i definitely feel like if i got myself down to a place where i didn't have such a huge abundance of sheet masks that i would purchase a tub of this because my skin responds really well to it, especially in the summertime. I then finished off both of the body creams that I had in the challenge. First one I worked through was the We Are The Weirdos Whipped Cream. This, oh God, I love this scent, but I also love things in a pot. I am very motivated when I can tangibly see the usage happening, and this did just that for me. So this 4.5 ounces went swimmingly and I was very happy. I also, no surprise, worked through the Snowflakes and Cashmere from Bath & Body Works. I cut this open as I normally do. You can see the black line where I was at. I find that with these body creams, once you get through the air pocket, it gets really hard to get lotion out of here and you think that you don't have that much left, but there's actually a ton left in the packaging. So I do find it worth it to cut it open. I ended up putting it into a Tupperware pot like I normally do, but then I worked through it really fast. This is a beautiful scent. I'm very happy that I have another one of it. It's going to go down as smashingly as the We Are The Weirdos did. My final product that I've used up, I am very surprised by. It is my Lush Rose Jam Shower Gel. This is crazy. I had a ton of this left, but I really made a switch starting off the year. I was basically using this two or three times before I switched over to Rain Kiss Leaves that I had also rolled over at the end of 2019. This is where I was at at the start of the year and now this is completely gone. Yes, you can see that there's some in the bottom, but I swear I have tried like tilting this and shaking it and it just doesn't collect enough in the packaging i don't know so i'm gonna go ahead and call it a wash because i do have another one of this exact same size these things are huge i now better understand why they cost as much as they do i'm really glad that i was able to basically get two of these for half price making get an even better deal but i'm not sure when i'm gonna want roast jam again after going through this entire thing i have four products that i am still continuing on with the first one i feel like we're gonna have to settle in we're gonna have this one for a good chunk of the year and that is the biore baking soda cleansing scrub this is essentially like literally a powder that you dump into your hands you lather with some water and then you go ahead and scrub i think this is a lovely scrub i've been using it essentially about two two times a week and this is where I'm at very little progress to report um, I'm glad I like it because I'm gonna have it for a long time at this rate if I do get absolutely desperate I could always try using it as a full body exfoliant but I'd like to not try that but just know she gonna be hanging out for a while then I have the never-ending Sephora bubble mask detoxifying and oxygenating I really don't know what kind of 
progress I've made on this because it doesn't really feel like I've made any progress. Like when I shake it, it still feels about the same. So I feel like it's gonna be a total surprise when I do end up using this up. I've been using it about two times a week and I'm pretty happy with it. It's a very quick mask. I've really been in the mood for very quick masks lately. So we'll just see how much longer this has in it. We come to the shower gel, which is the rain kissed leaves. So I still have good progress on this despite not using it as consistently as I was earlier in 2019. So I was here at the last update and now I am down to here. I definitely think this will be finished off by the next update that I do. I think it's a really nice scent. It's been uh, like a big change of pace for the winter months to be using a scent like this, but it's not bad and it's really nice, you know, in the morning when I shower because it's not the most oppressive or really intense scent to you. So it's nice for that reason in particular. Last one that I'm still trucking along with is my fortune cookie soap life finds a way Moroccan oil hair detangler. I have some good progress happening on this. You can see here that it is one of those two layers that you have to shake up in order to spray your hair with it. I think the scent of it is nice. I think it does do a nice job detangling my hair. I'm getting to a weird point in the winter where if I wait too long at night to shower and I wash my hair, I don't tend to spray this in it. I tend to spray my hair with the L'Oreal like, I don't know, hair dry spray. I don't know if that's the exact name of it. I don't think it is, but it basically helps accelerate the drying of your hair, whether it's with a blow dryer or with just regular air drying. I tend to find that if I only put this in my hair, it doesn't dry overnight fully. And I prefer to do that versus blow drying my hair. So I might accelerate the process with the L'Oreal over this, but this is still getting used pretty frequently. So I'm happy with the progress on it. So now I'm gonna show you the five new products that I am bringing into my challenge. The first is a product that I don't typically include in these types of challenges, and that is a perfume. I have this Physician's Formula Butter Paradise perfume. This was sitting on my vanity. I've had it for, I think, at least a year. And I feel like the color of it is changing. Like, I don't think it was this yellow when I first got it. So I figured it basically meant that it was time for me to use this up. So this is where I'm at. I'd say I'm about halfway on it. It's not a very big bottle. And really over 2019, my focus with my perfumes was to really plow through my roller balls and like my travel spray sizes. I have made amazing progress. And now I definitely think in 2020, I'm gonna spend a lot more time trying to work through like bottles of this size or bigger bottles. I don't have a super expansive bottle collection of perfume. And with working through all of those roller balls or spray, you know, decanted perfumes that I had in 2019, I've like slashed my perfume collection by quite a bit. So I'm definitely hoping that this goes pretty quickly so that I can keep plugging away on other fragrances. I'm also bringing in another shower gel. I was going through the different shower gels that I had in my collection and I stumbled across this. I don't know if the label I put on this, it's kind of washed out now because it's been in my shower, but this is, it's from 2015. I don't know how that's possible because pretty much every single one of the shower gels that I currently have in my collection is from 2017 or later. I tend to do a really good job going through the product or the back stock and keeping, you know, the older stuff at the forefront of my mind. And I am not lie to you. I don't remember this being like, a reddish color the packaging is reddish so maybe i misremember that but i opened it and i was like oh still smells like regular warm vanilla sugar why don't i try it on my body and see if it works and it still does so i wanted to go ahead and pull this because one it's a nice wintry scent and i'm kind of looking for a winter scent to balance out rain kiss leaves and it's old like i'm shocked that i have something that's this old in my collection so this is my starting mark. I'm pretty early in my progress of this. My plan and my intent is to switch off every other shower with this so that way it'll get you know equal use to the rain kiss leaves. But I'm hoping that I can get rain kiss leaves used up between now and the next update so that way I can maybe focus more on this. As I am currently body creamless, I am going to pull in two body creams. I'm actually very surprisingly going to bring out my other tub of We Are The Weirdos. I just really wanted to pull out a tub to use because I am so motivated by seeing my actual usage as I pull from the tub. And quite honestly, this was the only tubbed cream that I liked the smell of where I was like, oh yeah, I think I'll still like the scent of this. And 
I do. I'm definitely not sick of it. I think having the two lotions really helps because I'm switching back and forth and not just fully barreling through one scent and variety is kind of the spice of life. The second scent that I'm bringing in is from Bath and Body Works and it is Champagne Rose. <sighs> you guys, there's a very real possibility that at some point this year, a majority of the products in this particular challenge could be rose based because I just can't stop acquiring rose things. I can't stop wanting to pull out rose things. Like a few years ago, you would never see me using a spring scent like this in the winter, but I just, oh my God, it's so good. The first time I applied it, I wasn't sure I would like it because that champagne definitely creates a different type of scent to it, but the rose, is lovely. It's not as good as Rosewater Meringue, I'll say that, but it's pretty great and I'm pretty happy with it and I'm kind of sad I don't have any more of it and that no one else in the world seemed to love the Rose Collection as much as I did because there were buckets of it after semi-annual sale ended, but this is basically, you know, brand new. I don't know how much I've got left in here slash like it's black packaging. I don't own a silver permanent marker, so I can't really mark this, but just know and we will not be surprised if a month from now this thing is gone because I love it so very much. Yeah, final item that I am bringing in, I am really excited, and that is the Body Shop Juicy Pear Exfoliating Sugar Body Scrub. This I, as you guys know, recently picked up because like Rose, I love pear and I really like this scent. I also like the foaming sugar scrubs. I think those are a nice type of scrub, so I'm looking forward to using this. And I just gotta say, I think it is so great that I'm at a point in my hoarding closet that I can actually start to use things shortly after I purchase them. I mean, if we look at the fact that three out of the five things I've acquired in the last three months, that's pretty great. I so often am trying to, in the hoarding closet, use up things that are outdated and too old and on the verge of expiring, and none of these items are on the verge of expiring, and yet here I am getting to enjoy them. I don't have to wait a whole cycle where I forget what the scent smells like and then like reconnect with it a year or so later. So this is really exciting. This is what motivates me to keep doing this type of challenge because I want to keep being able to purchase something and then very briefly afterwards use it. I mean, do I have other scrubs that I could probably pull instead of this? Yeah, but there's nothing in the closet for scrubs right now that is going to probably expire while I'm using this and that feels amazing. I highly encourage you, if you have a hoarding closet of any capacity, the way I do, I really would encourage you to start to keep track of your progress and start counting the closet because it's very motivating and it really does help you see tangibly how you are progressing through your stock. And it also over time has helped me curb a lot of my, you know, purchasing habits when it comes to body care items. So I am just super jazzed. I think this has been a fabulous first month update if I do say so myself. I hope that you guys have enjoyed seeing my progress and I will talk to you in my next video really soon. Bye.